Welcome back everyone to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video and in today's video what we're going to be doing is a really good RP method for anyone who's actually just starting out or if you're actually a super high level this is still really good and by far going to be the best RP method in the game and that is going to be eating the piety plants. Now if you're not aware by now this week Rockstar has actually made all of the water piety plants now accessible in the game for this week and this week only and so because of that we want to go ahead eat those plants plants and they actually not only turn you into a water animal but they also give you 5,000 RP each time you eat one. So there's actually a ton of them scattered all over the entire map here and so we want to go ahead and get on with our first requirement and our first requirement of what not to do whatsoever. I actually found this issue whenever I was trying to make this video before and realized what the issue actually was. So as for our first requirement what you want to do is make sure you have two different outfits. If you're not sure if you have two different outfits, you can do that by first opening up the interaction menu and go down to appearance, go to outfit, and if you switch it over, then you're now good to go. And then as for our second requirement of what not to do, is do not wear a scuba gear outfit. I know it sounds crazy because it sounds like scuba gear is like the absolute thing you want right now for this type of stuff. Because some of these pirate plants are like really deep in the water, so you kind of want one. But if you actually eat the potty plant with the actual scuba gear, your character will either like freeze up or you'll actually respawn as like a default GTA Online character and you can't do anything whatsoever. So best requirement, do not wear any scuba gear, it will mess up your game. I have yet to find any instance where I was wearing scuba gear and it actually worked out for me. So make sure not to wear that and once you have all of that done and out the way, you are now ready to go. So our first thing we want to do is actually look for a water piety plant. Thankfully, there's actually a website, which I'll leave a link in the description to it, that basically shows you all the locations. And also, if you actually click on the piety plant, like actual picture, it'll show you the exact spot it's at. So it's very helpful. Thankfully, we have a website now that shows you everything. So go ahead. I'll leave a link in the description. And so the first one's actually going to be in this location right over here. So let's go ahead and make our way there. Okay, so I just found it here. I can't see the exact. Okay, so it's right there. You can notice the plant's like right there. So you should be able to eat the plant. And then what's going to happen is it's going to show a cinematic of you eating the plant. And it's going to take you into a random water animal. So let's go and see here. Okay, so you see here we actually did get the RP and we now turn into basically a fish. And so from here, once you're actually done, go ahead and hold E to in the hallucination. And then it'll respawn you back to your character on the actual map. And so there you go. You see here we got a ton of RP boost from this. And the next thing you want to do is go ahead, open up your interaction menu, and go to appearance, go to outfit, and go ahead and switch it over. What this now does is cause it a force saving the game. So if anything is to happen you'll still keep that RP for it. Now alongside with this, there's actually a glitch going on where you can actually eat the same potty plant over and over. They've had this in the game forever, but I'm actually worried about getting copy striked. So therefore I can't show you this. So what we're going to be doing is actually going to the various locations. Like I said, if you don't want to do this glitch at all, you don't have to. There's actually a ton of potty plants around that you can eat. So you should actually be good to go. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and move on to our second piety plant. So it looks like the second one's actually going to be pretty far away. Uh, so if we look on the map right, I'm assuming it's going to be somewhere right over here. Yeah, I think it's going to be in this general area. And so we do have an image. It, it's usually pretty easy to find the piety plants once you have the exact location spot down. But for some reason, if you don't get the exact location, it'll probably take you forever to find it. So I'm really glad that we actually have these websites now that show you the exact spots. So now we're going to go ahead and make our way there. Alright, so we just found our second one right over here. So let's go ahead and eat it now. Hopefully with the Space Ranger outfit, I was kind of worried about the helmet messing it up. And I hope it really doesn't. It shouldn't anyway. Okay, and it looks like it didn't. So we did get the animal. It looks like we got the hammerhead shark on this one. So let's go ahead in the hallucination again by holding E here. And then when we respawn, we should get another 5,000 RP. And it looks like we did, and we even almost managed to level up from 584 to 585. And there you guys go. That is basically your quickest RP method so far for this week. And so you want to go and take advantage of it because it's only going to be available for this week at least. They usually do always do like the regular party plants, like the land ones, the water ones. They do it during random times at least. And so because of that, you want to go ahead and take advantage of it right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and hopefully this did help you guys out. If it did, feel free to like and subscribe for more GTA 5 videos and content just like this. And with that being said, you guys have a great one. Stay safe out there 
and goodbye. <laughs>